I mentioned another part of the treatment, the muscle energy techniques, and one very useful version is Chaitel's uh, uh, integrated neuromuscular inhibition technique. And he based this on some of Jones' uh, counter-strain, strain-counter-strain uh, positional re release techniques. And he basically established a protocol that is, is, is quite, uh, quite nice. Um, I sometimes use it. He said in one of his articles itself, it, uh, it can be adapted for the patient for the way we're working. Um, one of the ways I, I like to work with it is uh, basically using the patient's feedback to kind of guide me. If I can just get the model to turn over to face me. Now, if we were talking about quadratus lumborum, we would find the quadratus lumborum we would find the trigger point. Now basically what they, he suggests is you find the trigger point, you press on it and then you try and unload that trigger point. You, you, you try and find a, a position of release and, and, and often you might have that comes in two stages. You may just uh, need to put towels under the, the, the knees and completely lift the hips. Some people push across and, and release. I often find that I can actually get some release actually in the muscle tension just by putting my leg, leg down on my fist. That's enough. And then if, if that's still sort of, I found the uh, initial trigger point, yeah the pain's gone off a little bit but I just rock them back a little bit there, a little bit into, uh, into rotation and then they're saying no there's no pain there now. And so then I hold for 20 to 30 seconds. Sometimes you need to do a little bit more until you feel that melting away. And then Maybe you need to do a, a bit of counter strain so I get to the, uh, the, the patient to just contract your back muscles as you can. Just push, push into my hand and just hold that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and relax and relax. And then maybe I will pull them into a point of stretch and just completely stretch out. And I've actually got a manip there, one of the uh, vertebrae actually uh, manipulated so some of the muscle tissue is relaxed. And, and then I will just stretch it out. And maybe I will need to repeat that technique a couple of times. But that's my way of kind of utilizing Chaitel's version of the positional release techniques and integrated neuromuscular inhibition.